have you been writing your mid-journey text prompts wrong? What do I mean wrong? Well, recently I found out that there are actual recommendations from the mid-journey team on how you should be writing your text prompts for the best results possible. Today's video will look at exactly these recommendations as well as some general tips on improving and understanding your text prompts. Stick around until the end of this video to find out what the three blanks on your screen represent. I recently watched Cyberpunk Edge Runners on Netflix and oh my god, I absolutely loved it. I was really inspired by the unique art direction of the series and went on a little cyberpunk style exploring spree with Mid Journey, and I learned a lot about text prompting in the process. So in today's text prompt episode we'll be creating the cyberpunk edgerunner style character you see on the screen and in this way understand the fundamental concepts to text prompt crafting. We begin with the main idea. This is the first part of our text prompt formula and this is where we explain what it is that we want to create at its essence. A landscape, a product, a poster, whatever it is, describe your main idea as accurately and as simply as possible. Don't use a phrase for something that can be said in a word. Midjourney works better with words and not phrases. We'll add the details later, so make it your goal to speak to Midjourney as concisely as possible. This tip has actually forced me to improve my vocabulary and try to express myself better. Before prompting, I spent time on Google searching up things like what is another word for animal with human body features? And the answer, by the way, is anthropomorphic. And that will give you much better images of animals with human bodies, similar to this one. Try it, it's quite fun. With that being said, let's jump into Discord and write out our main idea. We'll be creating a female edge runner in a cyberpunk city setting. So let's begin with slash imagine and follow that with the main part of our prompt, which will be female with long green hair. Remember, we're describing only the essence of the idea. I'm adding the hair in this part of the prompt because it's something I really want Mid Journey to focus on as I'll be creating a portrait wide shot and it's going to take up a lot of space on our image. For a wide shot, I'll type dash dash AR or aspect ratio of three by two. You can obviously use other aspect ratios, whatever you would like. And I'll be creating this image in the test version of Mid Journey. So I'll type dash dash test. The two versions most Mid Journey members use are test and test P. The difference that I have found between the two is that test works better for illustrations while test P works better for photos. So I use test for creating fictional images while test P if I'm trying to create something true to life that I could see in a photo. If you're adding dash dash test to the back of your prompt, make sure that you have not selected test P in your settings, otherwise you'll get an error similar to this one. To avoid getting this error, you can simply type prefer suffix, leave it blank and just hit enter before running your imagine prompt. So we'll just rerun that and that's going to work perfectly fine. Here is the result we get by including only our main idea. By the way, I'm running the different parts of our prompt separately so that you're able to see how adding in these different parts impacts our end results. I'm overall happy with the composition Mid Journey is putting out here. So let's move on to the next two blanks, which are style of and details. As a general rule of thumb, we add the style we're looking for before our main idea at the very front of our text prompt. And this is because Mid Journey places more importance on words at the beginning of our text prompt than words at the end. By this logic, we add style first because the style impacts everything, the entire image. We follow this up with our main idea, which is the second most important part of our image and finally conclude with all the details. Applying this to our main idea text prompt, let's add more personality to our character. I want to have detailed facial features, so I'll add detailed face 
And I also want to achieve a determined look to our character, so I'll add determined face as well. And that's going to be quite impactful because our image is a portrait image, so the majority of it is going to be her facial expression. Cyberpunk Edge Runners was just released, so Midjourney does not yet have lots of references of the words Cyberpunk Edge Runners in its database. That being the case, including the name of the show won't give us the results we need, so we need to think of a workaround on how we can convey the feeling of the series in our text prompt. Well, the show was created in anime style, so that could be a good starting point. Given that this is a style text input, we'll add this to the very front of our text prompt. And we're going to type anime cartoon style and then maybe add anime again for good measure and hit enter. We're now getting much closer to our desired result. Notice how our image style has now changed to be in the anime cartoon style that we requested. Midjourney has also introduced the determined facial expression, which gives a lot more dynamic look to our image. This is a step in the right direction, but we're not there just yet, as it lacks our cyberpunk characteristics. So let's add those now. To convey the cyberpunk direction, I had to do some research on popular anime shows that have a cyberpunk feel to them. This goes back to the use Google tip. I went on there and searched for anime artists with cyberpunk styles and I found the perfect artist. I don't normally watch anime, but I discovered that there's a show named Akira, which fit the feel I was looking for perfectly and which I'll definitely be watching. You guessed it by the music, this is what Akira looks like. From these shots, you can see that Akira captures the cyberpunk vibe perfectly. Massive buildings, futuristic architecture and sky-high skylines with neon-looking lights. Akira was created by Katsuhiro Otomo, and I'll use his name to communicate with Midjourney that I'm going for a cyberpunk looking background in the style of his series. Again, we include the most important things first, so I'll include it just after our anime style text and type out cyberpunk city background style by Katsuhiro Otomo. And this is going to be our final prompt. Now we have an overarching anime style and the secondary cyberpunk style. And this gives us our final result. I'm extremely happy with this result. But, and it's a very important but, it took me quite a few rerolls to obtain a satisfactory image. So don't get discouraged if you don't obtain your desired result from the first try. Just keep rerolling. You eventually get there. Keep experimenting and see what works for you. Before the final tip, do subscribe if you enjoyed this video and want to see more. Finally, here's the screenshot that displays what we've covered in this video and notice that the prompts for V3 work slightly differently compared to test and test P. I hope you have a fantastic day, like, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.